lovies welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing great so guys on today's recipe i'm going to be sharing this requested video on how to bake your meat pie when you don't have oven at home so this recipe is going to be made using the stove method the fire method to bake our meat pie so guys let's get started with this recipe so these are all the ingredients i'm going to be using to make my dough which i have all the list of them on the description box do check it out to my flour i'll add in my sugar baking powder salt and i'm going to stir it up together So right now I'm going to be adding my margarine into my flour of which you can use butter if you have right now I have just margarine in my house so I have to make do with what I have. So I'm going to use my hand to work on it until it becomes a crumbs. So I just added in my egg and I'm going to use my hand to work on it also. So I'm going to be adding my cold milk. If you don't like using milk, you can do with cold water. As you can see, I'm adding in my milk bit by bit until I achieve the consistency of the dough that I need. So I'm going to keep on working on it and I will transfer it into my work surface. And I'm going to work on the dough for just about a minute. When I'm done working on the dough, I'm going to wrap it up with my cling film and put it in my fridge while I prep my filling so guys i already have about two meat pie recipes on my channel you can check it out which i did make with my oven so for the filling i have all my ingredients right here which i also have the list of them on the description box do check it out So I will start by adding in 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil into my pot and I will add in my diced onion. So right here I'm adding my mixed herbs which is optional, I just love the taste. I'm going to be adding in my mixed beef. So guys, I'm going to be cooking this minced beef until it changes its color from red to this color you're seeing right now. So right now, I'm going to be adding in my chopped Irish potatoes. I will add in my chopped carrots. One scotch bonnet pepper, which is optional. And I'm going to stir it together. So I'm going to be adding in some salt, curry powder and nutmeg to give it that nice flavor. And also just a very tiny bit of chicken stock powder. I'm going to stir it up. And right now, I'm going to be adding in my hot boiling water to cover up all this carrot, minced beef and other stuff so it can cook properly. So in about 20 minutes when it's been cooking, you can notice the water have gone down. I'm going to go ahead and mix my 
cornstarch flour i'm using two tablespoons of cornstarch flour if you don't have cornstarch flour you can definitely go on with the same flour you used in making your dough just mix up two tablespoons with a little bit of water this is going to add a satikna to the filling so i'm going to pour it in give it a nice stir and allow it to cook for just about a minute more and that's our filling ready set it aside to cool down a bit So guys, right now I'm going to start working on my dough. I'm going to divide it into different portion. Sprinkle some flour into my work surface and my rolling pin. And I'm going to roll this dough out. So right here you can see I'm using my pie cutter and I'm going to be adding just one tablespoon of filling because you don't want to overfill the dough so it doesn't get to bust out while cooking. So this is the pot cover I'm going to be using to make my meat pie in the fire so i'm just rubbing in some butter before i'm going to put in my pavement sheet if you don't have pavement sheet just spread some butter on it and you're good to go so after putting your filling you're going to use your um egg wash which is just whisker egg use it to seal the door and close it tightly and if you don't have this pie cutter i also have a very simple and easy way that you can also use in making your meat pie which is just rolling it out also use any round circular shape you have in your house like your plates or anything that is round use it to cut your dough Put in some meat pie filling, seal it up with your palm, make sure you seal it tightly. Then use your fork to give it that nice shape which we all know in our meat pie. <laughs> yes guys, so that's it, simple and easy. So guys, right now I'm going to show you how to bake the meat pie without your oven, which is just your normal cooking pot. Add in some of your cooking salt, not a lot, just some cooking salt to spread on the bottom of the pot. Put in your stove rack or something like this to prevent the tray from sticking to the pot. Then I'll cover it and let it to hot for just about 5 minutes on a low heat. And I would go ahead and use my egg wash to give this meat pie that very nice wash so it will make it look inviting when it comes out from the fire. And after preheating my pot for about 5 minutes, I'm going to transfer in my tray of meat pies into the pot. I will cover it up. And I will use my kitchen towel to cover it so it will trap all the heat from the fire. And in about 45 minutes to 50 minutes on a low heat, my meat pie is ready, well cooked. So guys, if you're using your oven, you can put it in your oven on 190 degree for about 30 to 35 minutes and your meat pie will be ready. So guys, thank you very much. Right now, I'm just using my butter to sprinkle on it to make this meat pie very moist and soft when I'm eating it. So that's the way you can use in making your meat pie if you don't have your stove. If you're in Nigeria, you can also just sprinkle some sand on the pot and use your kitchen rack to put on it the way I did. Put in your meat pie, then you are free to make your meat pie, of which salt is also cheap. You can definitely use your salt, just like a cup of salt will do. 
thank you very much guys for watching this recipe i hope you find it helpful i hope you enjoy watching please if you do don't forget to hit that red subscribe button click on the notification bell that goes with it that way you'll be notified anytime i post interesting and delicious recipes like this don't forget to hit on that like button so it will help this video to give me more views and other people can also benefit and learn from it yeah so guys thank you very much till i see you on my next recipe i hope you do have a beautiful day and enjoy your nigerian meat pie or ghana meat pie even if your oven is not working or you don't have one in your house you can also rock it using your stove okay see you guys next time yes guys and also when you're done making your meat pie please don't discard that salt as you can use it over and over and over and over again to bake whenever you want to bake this salt does not get wasted okay thank you guys bye